Alright, there we go. Level 2 in each. How's our spell casting doing? We started at 5 and we haven't gained any levels yet. None of these spells are high enough level for me to actually level up my spell crafting. So that kind of sucks. I need to track down some higher difficulty spells from spell books. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to make an attempt on that one. I, uh, yeah. Don't speak the language. Can't make an attempt. That's somebody, uh, subscribing over on my YouTube channel. So they're not going to see this for another 10 weeks or so. <laughs> All right, we're up to 5 p.m. Sun's going to come up here pretty quick. I think I am going to wait out the sun and then we'll do just a little bit more reading. All right, so we are pretty cold. Head, mouth, and legs. I have had some odd temperature issues with the game here recently, so we'd wear the blanket. That would get us super, super warm on all our body parts. Except for the head and mouth. <laughs> uh, and we have no tailoring skill to craft anything, so none of this... I need a balaclava, but I think it's level one. We'll have to make a whole bunch of uh, makeshift bandages to get to level one tailoring. Um, all right, still not quite light yet. Forty-nine percent, ninety-seven percent. All right, there's tailoring one. Nope, no balaclava yet. Scarf will help with the mouth only. I don't remember if balaclava is tailor two. Or am I missing? I've got survival one. I don't think it's higher than that. Arm warmers is next normally. I'm going to burn through all the thread I've got sitting here. That's not really a problem. Do five and see how far we get. Focus is okay. Tailoring, that got us at 26. So one quarter of the way there. So I need to do 15 more at the same focus rate, which isn't going to happen. Um, I've got parts for 10. I've got rags for not quite the full amount. And i got no books that's going to help. Could just uh, let it hit me. Hmm. One rag is what we got back out of all those. Alright, it's not like the parts are going to be a problem. Um, Alright, plenty of thread. Planks, more rags, more thread. Let's do 16 just in case. Alright, so we got the tailoring skill now. Tailoring 2. Means I can also do duffel bags on demand if I gather up a bunch more rags. Um.
<laughs> One rag again. Balaclava? Balaclava! Alright, give me my balaclava. There we go. That'll help our face and our mouth warmth. That gets us back to where we need to be. Let's see how we look without the electric blanket, though. Uh, feet and legs. What do we have down there? No socks. All right, need socks. Really? We're cold on the legs with leather pants and a duster? That's 40 points of warmth between those two things. Ah, temperature's broken again. Oh, it's because of my damage. The damage on my legs. They're making it more susceptible to the temperature. I understand. I understand. I know why. All right, let's... Um, As soon as we sleep and heal, those will come back down to the correct temperatures, so I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I will make some socks. Alright. So. Uh, what time is it? 10.39. It's going to be time to sleep pretty soon. So we'll sleep the day away, and then we will do our daily creep around. Let's go back up to the roof so we can get our, our local map back. All right, now we've got our map back. So, if we're going to creep around. We've got houses we haven't been to, houses we haven't been to. We came down from the north. I wasn't able to spend a lot of time in some of these houses, so we may have missed some stuff. We've got an LMOE shelter out here. Um, I'll visit it at some point, but I can't think. I mean, it's possible a tool, possible a gun. We've already got an M4 with some decent ammo. Um, yeah, it's not usually a whole bunch there. A little bit of food, especially with the 0.5 item drop rate, the half item drop rate that I'm running. There's not too many chances of something super useful being over there. We've got a subway station, so we got vending machines we can go raid. Um, so I'm probably going to first try to pop out, hit these houses and the subway vending machines. Then I'll, we'll see how we're doing from there. Maybe we'll pop down this way and hit this group of houses. I'd still like to scoop up a decent amount of household items. Books, and food items, things like that. Before I start doing targeted runs at uh, specific buildings. It's quite a few places. Eh, eh, a few places I'd like to hit. I never did make it to that bookstore. And there's another one right there. So the bookstore and the library. But uh, it's a bit of a trip to try to get to those. Hey there, Entity. The uh, challenge information is a little off. It's a different challenge than that. We uh, included that one and started up a brand new one. And I haven't gone out and fixed up the bots yet. <laughs> We're still doing the Magicalism mod, though. Uh, don't play the most recent one. There's a lot of problems in the very most recent current one. <laughs> Trying to remember what one I was on. So, uh, <laughs> fixes player suffer for the time change. That's interesting. Pull requests, wall connections. Ah, invalidate map cache after peaking. Wonder if that's the one causing the map to go away. 91.12. 91.12 or 14, I believe, is what I was using when we started the last... Let's see, where was I? It was after that. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I don't remember. 91.12 just before. Yeah, that is the one I started on. It was 91.12 was what I started the last challenge with. Things were okay there. Yeah, there's the reduced turn time to one second. So 91.12 is probably the safest. Or the... Yeah, yeah, just use that. <laughs> They've still got a lot of things to iron out with the uh, change from six second turns to one second turns. All right, let's head back down. And let's see here. Uh, 
Let's uh, get some food and water in us real quick before we go to bed. Uh, why can't I do clean water? Oh, no fire going. What would be why? All right, that should take care of our food and water. I don't want to go dead tired. If I go to sleep now, we're going to sleep. I think we'll be just about right. We'll be getting close to dark when we wake up by sleep now. That'll give us maximum night raiding time. We've completely cleared the tower except for the very bottom floor. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. I guess it's raining. I don't have could use one of the gallon jugs that I'm not going to use for a while to make a funnel. Put that up on the roof with a six liter tank. Yeah, I'm not going to use ammonia forever. Let's go ahead and pick that and um, we'll just dump it into the uh, the bathtub. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, Emily. It makes your funnel put together. Grab one of the sixty-liter tanks. Yeah, I can't put it out on the balcony. That would be more convenient, but that's not going to happen. So. We'll just put it up on the roof. Drop. Fly. All right, metal tank. And yep. All right, it's gaining water. So we'll just do that. With Z levels off. I I don't think that's going to gain anything with Z levels off. It's been a while since I bothered to use a funnel. I can't remember if it works across Z levels or not. All right, anything else I want to do before we sleep? I got a duffel bag, but right now we've got the rucksack. I think we're good. I think I'm just going to sleep. Yeah. See if, uh, oh, never mind. Healing went just fine. <laughs> Way faster than I thought it would. Didn't I take a slow healing trait? Thought I took the 60 percenter? Forget. 9.30. Slept a little longer. Yeah, poor healer. Only a third of the usual hit points. So that's a 70% reduction in the heal rate, but we still healed right up. Healing still broken? Yeah, that was definitely way faster than it should have been. So, all right, good to know. Fortunately, more broken stuff. Uh, nighttime. Let's just get a few things to eat real quick. We'll have a coconut. That's some of... Yeah, we'll finish those off. That should be enough. Alright, focus is good. Hit points are good. Mana is 3875. Happy with that. We've got lots of carry capacity. We've unfortunately also got quite a bit of encumbrance. A lot of eye encumbrance, too. Now, I don't want eye encumbrance at night. Uh, my nap goggles and the stylish sunglasses. So, we're going to take off the goggles. We'll put those on only when we need them. And we'll take off the sunglasses. Right, sunglasses can stay. Goggles got to go with us. I think we're all set, otherwise. 
Still haven't crafted a weapon. I'm still not really in combat mode. I'm in runaway mode. How's the temperature doing? We're okay on temperature. I need a pair of shoes to take with me, though. I've got none there. Clothing, please. Where are you at, clothing? Alright. Uh, sneakers? Sneakers. Sneakers is what I was using. Alright, we gotta take our sneakers with us so I can swap out if I need to. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's um now nah, I'm not going down the, the pipes. <laughs> as entertaining as that is. Alright, ground floor. No map memory for down here. Uh-oh. What kind of vehicle is that? I see another recharging station. Is that going to be the uh, limousine again? So, snow flurries. So I've only got two vision range because I'm losing one to the snow flurries. i throw the night vision goggles on. Or the light amp goggles. I lose another space. So I'm down to one. Unless I activate them. Which is great, but it's going to burn the power on them pretty damn fast. Um, shock zombie is the first zombie I see. Isn't that precious? Yep, another limousine. No batteries, a little bit of gas. Security system's broke, no wheels. So can't go anywhere, but there's something in the charging station and there's something in the refrigerator. Please be a battery or a tool. Look at that! Awesome! <laughs> I'm happy to see limousines just for these batteries in a recharging station. Who would have thunk? Alright, now I got batteries for my flashlight and for my goggles. And if I fill this thing up with gas, we can actually run the recharger to refill my batteries. Assuming I can get it started. Where's, what, what's considered the front of this thing here? Faulty engine. <laughs> I, can't, I can't examine the engine because it's too dark. That's kind of funny. Alright, so car battery is zero charged. Alternator sucks. So, throw a car battery in it. I could use it. We'll keep it in mind. Uh, let's actually go in here. No. Oh, I can't get in from there. Whoa. I nuts, fruit leathers, whiskey, mineral water. That was a little more generous than I expected. Hey there, the Wiznard! <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate that tip. Skull, skull, skull. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? Visors still haven't actually changed. These goggles have pretty good uh pretty good power savings. So let's take advantage of that. We'll scoot right on by the uh shock zombie there. And <laughs> naturally I smashed the window, so he's gonna come investigate. Black pepper's good, pumpkin's good, pickles are good. And Marshmallows. Don't care. Don't have a steak knife yet. Grab that. That. 
goes outside. All right, so this house is cleared. I want to go this way. What am I seeing? Nothing I care. Zombies have wandered off somewhere. The area is surprisingly clear. Don't care, don't care, not worth tangling with. Right, what am I looking at outside there? That was a security van. There's the gun on the ground. The Glock 19 when they destroyed the basket up front. The Glock hit the ground. Um, so we got raw materials. Leather chunks from uh, seats that have been torn up. They're doing a pretty good job. We'll, we'll take advantage of that later. Oh, popular mechanics. I was hoping that was under the hood. More tray pan. Eh. I'm not likely to use a tray of pan anytime soon. All right, now we got decision time. I could work my way up to the um, superstore. I can usually maneuver around in there, especially on rollerblades pretty successfully. Or I go back out on the street, check what's on the street, and then hit these houses here. Let's do the houses first. Let's head out this way. Oh, we got an ambulance. Broken, but we can uh, we can loot the one thing. First aid kit! Alright, now we got a first aid kit. We're pretty well set on the really basic first aid equipment. We got bandages, we got antibiotics, we've got disinfectants, and so on. I'm happy about that. Something in the seat right there. Mm, grab that. Hey there, zombies. Another vehicle. We've got fire truck. Ooh, I like fire trucks. Does it have the stuff? No stuff on that side. Ah, no stuff on this side. Dang it. Gas, battery, no wheels. All right. Close. I was hoping to get the. Uh, every once in a while, these trucks in these compartments will have a compartment full of tools. Allegan bars, crowbars, long ropes, things like that. I was hopeful. We didn't get any, unfortunately. Look out, chipmunk. I are coming through. Uh-oh, we got something in the we got something in the uh, front area though. Large fire extinguisher. I would love that, but bulky as hell. Mainly I just take it apart for the steel jerry can, so I have liquid storage. So I can transfer gas around usually. Occasionally for uh, water. They're going to shred this thing if I don't distract them. But the jerry can will just hit the ground. Let's just make a note. Um, extinguisher in fire truck. No other gear. Don't care. Can't drive it. All right. <laughs> Are these broke too? Because they have not moved from 150 out of 150. And that's not right. I shouldn't have been able to move this far and not have these things increment. They shouldn't be that energy efficient. It doesn't really say how, in, how, how efficient they are. Well, we'll go a little longer, but I'm concerned that these are also broken. So many broken things recently. Uh, this looks like one of those abandoned slash in the works houses. Well, going to be nothing in here. That's unfortunate. Alright, so this house is useless. Now if I try to transition across, I'm going to be moving across the grass in my rollerblades. 229. 
Ugh, another one of these types of houses. I think I've got that one. We'll grab it. Hand drill. A uh, paint chipper. And a full-on hammer. Oh, I almost missed the hammer. Alright, let's drop the makeshift hammer. Grab up the real one. Actually does make a difference because if you're wanting to create the uh, tool belts and stuff later, you need the real thing, not the makeshift. Alright, so this one's also useless. Well, we got the fancy house to our left with the pond. Now back. Lots of zombies waiting for me. Oh, we got uh, stairs down on the outside, right on the inside of the pond. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious location for the stairs. Nothing south of me that I want to go look at. Um. Hmm. Just gonna hang out right there on the stairs, are ya? There you go. Follow that noise. Oh, and then walk right back again. What do we got? Ah, useless. Don't care. Alright, we're out of here. That is not helpful. Let's see if this side of the house has anything useful. It's looking like a no, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk getting knocked down and pummeled by those guys right now. So let's just go out quietly. I should check the streets though. For uh vehicles. Oh. Firemans? Ooh, firemans. Let's see. Fireman's. Naturally, he just moved out of range. And the child zombie's after me. Soldier zombie, too, now. Hmm. Yeah, he, he, I might not be able to do my pyro stuff very effectively on him. That is a consideration. Let's try point flare on the soldier. Didn't work. Did work. 25 damage, moderately injured. I should have checked his health before I cast that. Now I got other things on me. They're going to be hitting me while I'm trying to cast. Got him again? Ah, it's time to turn off the distractions. Ah, we actually dropped him. Scar L. 80 rounds. Later. No equipment I care all that much about, unfortunately. Damaged FN Scar. Fires 223. Um. Whoops, I didn't bring my M4 with me. That's fine. I Shouldn't be needing it anyway. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to pick it up. 37.75. Ah. Damn dog. Little kid knocked me down. Um, no. Don't care. Alright, where are you at, firemans? Damn it, he wandered off into the woods. No, I don't want hazmat. I want firemans. Uh, 
Hit him for 12. That does seem like less. <laughs> Hit him for 14. 15. Haven't gotten knocked down yet. Heavily injured. Cash card, chest rig, PBA mask. Um, now nah, it's going to be forever before I'm going to get the tailoring or fab to do any kind of survivor gear. I'm not going to worry about accumulating the other stuff for now. But PBA mask I can clean up and put to use immediately. Um, same with the chest rig. Booted hard. No. All right, we'll just take back here. Open for a tool. I don't want to go this way. Whoa, another dog pack. So many dog packs to deal with. All right, that's the house I am avoiding now. Another crowd. Yeah, goggles are broke. God, so many things broke. They're not using up any uh, any power. All right, fireball. <laughs> and it did work. Heavily, moderately, uninjured. It doesn't seem like it hit everything in the area. I think it only hit a few of them. There's definitely some that were in the range that should have been hit that don't appear to have been. So, yeah, that burns mana like crazy, though. 350 mana. Let's say... That seemed to hit more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That seems a little more appropriate. Heavily injured, moderately injured. The firemen are the main things I'd like to kill. See if we can do it without getting knocked down. That's going to be the hard part. The other things here. And I'm on rollerblades, so any little tap and I get knocked on my ass. Hmm. All right, there's an opportunity. Dang it. That's not good. That's not good. What did we get? Stimulant module? Ooh, stimulant module would be pretty good. Run mode. Grab me the stimulant module. Uh, the rest is no big deal. Right. I'm gonna save my mana. Killing these generic guys, I I wouldn't. They wouldn't even die if I dropped two or three more fireballs on them. Some of them would, but uh, it's not worth the effort right now for just random chance of some moderate gear. Save the mana for when I might really really need it. What are you guys knocking apart? Doing up a vehicle area. All right, so that's done. I don't think I actually went into that other house, did I? No, I did. All right, that's done. Go around this group. All right, let's do the house to the south, then I'll go across the street to the north. Hey, shocker. Orange juice. Um... Yeah, another useless basement. Police man's police man's. Um I 
Yeah, he can have some pretty good stuff. It'll be pretty easy to roll around in here to get him. Ooh, Kevlar vest. Never mind. Take the Kevlar. At least we got something out of it. Get our stamina back. Mm. What I care about here. Another fire truck. Another opportunity. Is there going to be an extinguisher again? Yep. <laughs> Alright. Anything on the other side? Dang it. Once again, no tools. Two fire trucks, no tools. Pharmacy, houses. We go down south, or I start working my way back up north. Place is done. Baseball field. Might get baseball bats. Not sure if it does have them where they would be. Ah! <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Some reason football fields like to have uh, zombie masters all over, and baseball fields like shock zombies, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm willing to. Oh, crap. Crappity crap. This is, is this grass I'm on? Yeah, this is grass I'm on. That's not good. Alright, back out in the street here. Thought I was on concrete over there. Stepped onto the grass and slowed down dramatically. Shock zombies, shock zombies, and more shock zombies. Don't care about a pavilion. Almost tempted to make the run out to that uh, last mount on Earth shelter. Just take the road out, see if there's anything on the road I need to worry about, and then, well, my shoes out. Just run up to that LMOE, get it investigated. Bunny rabbits, chipmunks. Jeez, all over the place. Right, we'll check this house while we're here. All the animals will distract those guys for a short bit. No oh, lawnmower. That's where I keep my lawnmower. Backup roller blades. I think I'll pass. Alright, so this is the road heading out of town. Let's go ahead and do what I've mentioned. Let's go uh let's go find us an APC that's drivable. Look at that gasoline. Gas, battery, no wheels. Alright. Looked great up until the no wheels. We're gonna mark it though. And make a note, APC with like 55 liters of diesel. Hopefully nothing comes along and bangs on it. Huge van, not drivable. That's just going to be a 2x4 there. And then no other vehicles. Alright. Let's hope we don't walk into... Um, yeah, there won't be landmines. There won't be turrets that won't have light. What the hell? Isn't that electricity down there? We got an artifact down there generating electricity? Yeah, and that sparks. Interesting. I don't know if this is a new landmark feature or if this is an artifact. Usually when I see electricity, it's an artifact. Electric cloud and sparks. 
But that's pretty spread out for that kind of thing. So, I don't know what that is. Racing. I've got safe mode on. This is the part where I get laser targeted. Alright, well, I think I'm going to pull back to here. Swap our shoes. Pull the blades off. Wear sneakers. Ah, oh, I got too much stuff to do that. That's funny. Let's see. I'm not willing to wear those. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. I'll wear the chest rig. Pick those up. What's the coverage percent on chest rig? 20%. Still taking a pretty big risk. Hopefully I see something coming fast enough I can dump the chest rig before they get to me. Alright, we're going to go visit the LMOE shelter. Probably click pine nuts while I'm out here if I've got space. I don't have any space. Alright, we won't bother. Hello, LMOE shelter. What you got? Makeshift hammer, modern tanner. Arg! I wasn't planning on not being able to carry anything. I have yet to ever see a single thing in these crates. Binox! Oh, we'll take Binox. That made it worthwhile. No guns in the gun rack or the gun storage. And no books in the bedroom. All right, well, that's it. Pretty exciting LMOE shelter. <laughs> we got Binox, though. We'll go up on the roof with the Binox and see how big our uh, view radius is now. Let's just go back out the same way we came in. It seemed fairly safe. Except for that gnarly opossum. Alright, take off. Uh, where are you? Sneakers. Where? Roller blades. Now I just got the problem where I'm pretty much full up of random stuff. Um, I'm already listing as overweight. I don't want to keep stuffing food in my mouth. <laughs> Technically, I don't really need three plastic bottles of mineral water. <laughs> Hydration's not going to be an issue. Um, it's really these types of things that are taking up the most space. Just not willing to put them on because I'll risk getting an infection if they get hit. I right, know the road is safe. Back to town. Ah, zombie child. Alright, so the APC with the uh, gas is a good find. Got the Binox, that's also good. Um, We're getting a bit of a distance between us and our, our apartment complex. Or our mage tower. Nah, the door I missed was just the bathroom. There's nothing in there. Big old wreck. Nothing. A couple short ropes, those broken versions. Can't remember if you still get parts out of those or not. Alright, where to go? 
tempted to run back to the apartment, just drop stuff off real fast. I kind of want to go to the pharmacy. Let's see if we can get to the pharmacy. Maybe we'll go to the pharmacy and then we'll pull back. Good old RV. No wheels, can't go anywhere. Gonna get ripped up. Alright, pretty clear trip into the pharmacy. Vending machines are empty. And nothing out front. Bandages and some iron. Alright. Go out the back. So. That's about my, my normal luck with pharmacies. I never find any useful drugs in pharmacies. All right, so I think it would be wisest to head on back. And then uh, drop stuff off. All right, you guys are being a little irritating here. Let's see, I've got nothing in my hands. That means I could take back. Mm, there we go. Means I could take back one of these extinguishers to take apart. Actually, I'm not sure I can. I don't have a wrench yet. I can't remember. Does it take a wrench to take those things apart? Whoops. dark right now. It's not going to give me the option. Can't see the crap. Um, I think it takes a wrench, but at least we'll have it there. Okay, vehicle. I came down this way, so I haven't seen this stuff yet. Maybe I'll check these. It'll be too dangerous to check inside that vehicle unless they move off like they just did. Don't care. Don't care. Alright, it's a little bit of pain. Our speed is dropping. Get some aspirin in us to get rid of that pain. Uh, is that another RV? Mobile meth lab. Might get some drugs. Flashlight. Medium storage battery. No drugs, really? Off syrup is it? That kind of sucks. A frying pan and some cough syrup. And a matchbook. That's not what I expect out of a mobile meth lab. Yeah, let's keep moving. Another one of those mystery rope files. Still trying to find a vehicle that works. Time to turn. Small to be of effective use. And this is our apartment block. There's our uh, raw material pile. <laughs> Plenty of raw materials laying around. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Glock was standing, sitting there. Yeah, we'll take a Glock with ammo, or we won't take a Glock with ammo. Just a little over. That's fine. We'll leave it there for now. 
Um, yeah. So, plenty of scrap metal. 1,200 scrap metal. 600 steel. Lumps and chunks. Pipes. Leather patches. All sorts of goodies. And apparently it had gold in the back seat. Did they shred this one too? Nope, they haven't got the limousine yet. Hey, ground floor bathroom has bandits. Nah, let's go straight up top. More bandages. Yeah, those can stay for the moment. Just want to get to the stairs. Alright, up we go. Alright. <laughs> uh, keep those with me for the moment. Lots of batteries. Yeah. Van Fiend, welcome to the channel. Alright, dump all that. Let's take off the goggles for the bullets. Fire going and apply the washboard. Those two items. Well, I have to decide. Um, do I have two piles? Not sure why I have two piles. So we got a uh, fab book, and we got the low-level mechanics book. So that helps slightly with our current issues. Um, EBA mask, protect me against the gas. A bit bulky, and I have to decide on this Kevlar vest. It's damaged, so... 6, 12, protection, 5, and... 85% coverage. Let's assume I'm going to throw the Kevlar on. Drop a few books. Wear the chest rig. Did I leave my M4 sitting out here? Where did my M4 go? There it is. All right, chest rig. Where are you at? No weapons you can put in the chest. Dang it. Thought that would hold the M4. Chest rig. 0. 0.25 to 1.0. Damn M4, you're big. You're 2.25. You're way too big. All right. Mostly for magazines. All right. What are we up to? 52. 52. 52. Um, oh, yeah. Well, we're going to wait for daylight before I go up onto the roof with the binoculars.
Yeah, I can shoulder strap it. I'm just, I don't have, I don't think I have the, can you even make a shoulder strap at tailoring one? <laughs> I'm not sure. Apparently you can. We'll go ahead and do it. I brought back a bunch of defective short ropes anyway. At the moment, I'm not really trying to fight, so I don't mind. Oops. <laughs> I just wore my shoulder strap, did I? All right. I don't mind uh, layering up because I'm not really fighting. I'm using magic, which is possibly must be unloaded. But what? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, let's let's redo this. So I've got an M4. I've got a shoulder strap. I go to the shoulder strap. I say to activate it, and then I get this. Must be unloaded before installing this mod. <laughs> what? Uh, all right. Well, let's unload it. And then let's try again. Let's see what message we get this time. Okay. <laughs> uh, never seen that before. Now we have it strapped with the uh, full load of ammo. And over our shoulder, giving us 58 torso encumbrance. Um, so, Corrigant had to go away. That's something I hadn't asked him before, is... Does any kind of encumbrance affect your ability to cast magic spells? Because if there is no encumbrance issues... For spell casting, it might be a problem. It sounds a little too, a little too easy to me. Yeah, some of the spells do movement points. Some of them do turns. Made cast speed based off move speed. So I, I don't know what that exactly means. And why would my move speed, meaning my feet and or legs, have anything to do with my ability to cast spells? See, I don't know what the theory craft behind the spells in the game is. I mean, is it waving your hands in patterns? Is it voice saying things? And if you're muffled on your mouth encumbrance, does that make it harder? Is it just internal and you just... Have magic happen? <laughs> I, I, I don't know any of the uh, the reasoning behind the mechanics of the magic and whether there should be consequences. So if I load up and have a hundred encumbrance on every single body location, is that going to affect my ability to cast a fireball? That's basically what I'm curious about. Oh, he got tired. I think he's asleep. I'm not going to ping him. <laughs> I'll catch up with him tomorrow and ask. I'll make a note about it. Do, do, do. All right, I'll find out tomorrow. Especially for this situation where I can dance around on the rollerblades at night with my broken inf night vision goggles and uh, cast away until I run out of mana. Especially if I spend any amount of time actually leveling these things up. It just seems like it's going to get out of hand pretty quick. I'm still trying to get a feel for the mana amount and regen amounts and all that kind of stuff for balance purposes, but... Um, it just feels off to me that every other activity in the game is affected by encumbrance, that uh, magic should be somehow immune to that. So, I agree. Magic is very finite, but uh, as you level up, the effectiveness goes up a fair amount. It is going to take quite a while, so... But we'll see. Hmm... Regenerate. That, that's the thing I'm trying to get a balance of. I mean, I, I took all of the magic abilities, greater mana efficiency, 
for the raw mana pool. I'm up around 3,800, I believe. And then regen and sensitivity is also increasing my pool. So between greater efficiency and lesser sensitivity, the pool's at 3,800. And then lesser regeneration. So I'm, I was getting a little bit of regen while I was running around. But for the most part, it's blow your mana pool and then sleep to get your mana back. Just like lots and lots of RPGs, basically. Alright. Um... One thirty p.m. Still super, super early. We just ran... We rollerbladed down through a bunch of houses. All the way down to here. All the way back around. Up to the LMOE shelter. Then back around again. Like so. Within... I think it was two hours of in-game time. I think we started... Yeah, it was right after dark. We woke up about 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., I believe. So two, two and a half hours to do that whole trip. Rollerblades just make it so, so efficient to move around as long as you're careful about not getting knocked on your ass. Um, we could go pretty much anywhere in this town in one, uh, easily in one evening. So it's just going to be a matter of uh, dodging things. All right. Yeah, that's not what I'm asking, though. That's that's has nothing to do with the uh, the question. I understand that the casting time is based on your character speed. What that means is he has a lot of the spells pegged at 100 moves, and or he's using 100 moves as a per turn amount that it costs. So if it costs three turns, it's 300 moves basically. So when I look at the spell list. Uh, which reminds me, can I take this thing apart? Oh, I can take it apart? Oh, alright. Thought I was going to need uh, tools. Take that apart. There we go. Now we've got a steel jerry can. Let's grab that. So I'm going to leave that up here. Oops, not that. Let's leave that up there just to remind myself it's there. Got into the pile. Alright, so here's my point. This one says casting time 100 moves. That's essentially one turn, unless, like right now, I only have 99 speed. So if I tried to cast this, it would actually take just over one full turn to cast this. Fireball, on the other hand, actually counts it in turns. And point flares even more, three turns. But I believe each one of these, he's just basing it off of 100 moves. And instead of saying 100 moves, 200 moves, 300 moves, he's just going 100 moves, two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. That, though, has nothing to do with the encumbrance values. So it's not taking into account that I currently have 58 torso encumbrance or 21 arm encumbrance. None of those numbers are changing based on my encumbrance currently. So my current feel is that I could have 100 encumbrance on all of my body parts, which would have the effect of making my movement cost go up but has nothing to do with my speed. Speed is always separate from how much points you're, you're paying to move a space. So, if he's basing it off the speed rating, encumbrance has absolutely no effect on the speed rating. They're two, two totally different things. Encumbrance affects the movement point cost. It makes it higher. So you, you spend your speed up to the amount you need to because of the encumbrance values and the action you're taking. So, Two different topics, or two different systems we're talking about, so I still don't have an answer. I'll find out tomorrow. Not a big deal, but it, it seems like the magic system is completely divorced from the encumbrance system. Um, which I think might be an issue. If anything, I would say it should be tied to the arms, which is largely tied to uh, a lot of the combat. So, encumbrance, stamina costs of melee attacks and accuracy with ranged weapons. So maybe you have to wave your arms around in very, very precise motions for the uh, somatic component of the spell casting. And if your arms are encumbered, it's harder for you to make those precise movements. So the casting time goes up. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's a other possibility that these numbers are the base and it's not showing or reflecting whatever my current 
encumbrance values may be affecting it by. So it's possible it's base 100, and then it's another one for every point of arm encumbrance, and I'm actually having to pay 140 or 130 or whatever. So I don't know. It's hard to tell because you can't you can't tell how many points you've spent. You just have to kind of guesstimate. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure when you cast a spell, this number here, the action point cost, is not being shown. Let's find out. Let's um, run out of the hallway. Let's cast a fireball here. So 28% fail rate. 26 damage, 350 mana. So the mana cost is not changing. Um, cancel that for a second. So I've zeroed this out. So if we say fireball here, yeah, it's not it's not showing the action or movement point cost for that activity or that action. Pretty much just moving and fighting does that. So all right. I don't think I'm going to be able to answer the question. We're going to have to ask Korg. <laughs> All right. No, I can't set fire. Spells don't actually light fires or anything. So, not yet. Hopefully in the future. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call things to a halt right here. Which is, I would like to continue. We're already um, pushing, what, eight and a half hours? What time is it? Yeah, eight hours and 17 minutes. That's that's enough for me. Tailbone starting to uh, shout at me that I need to get up and get moving. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do that. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, really appreciate it. Anybody that joined in new this evening, uh, I'll be back on Monday to continue this particular challenge. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is my Cataclysm nights, and then uh, I'll be doing some other stuff on the other days. And make sure to check out my YouTube channel. Lots and lots of Cataclysm content, challenge series. Quick tip series, university series, all sorts of fun stuff over there. Um, short videos, long videos, tons of stuff. So hope to see you next time and uh, have a good night. Stay safe out there.